Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we visit Chuck's Greenhouse for the flowers of the season. And we meet up with Mrs. Claus in Newton Falls. But first, celebrating 10 years, memories of Christmas past at the Arms Museum. Well, we're back with Anthony Warrelia, the Christmas architect here at the Arms Museum. And this is the 10th anniversary celebration of memories of Christmas past. And every year, people need to know the displays all change. Correct. It's the been, house does not stay in the, the, each room the same. It's different every year for the last nine years, including this year, our 10th anniversary. It's every exhibit vignette has uh, been different. And what did you do special this year to well, celebrate 10 years? This year, since it's our 10th anniversary, we've listened to the guest and they've requested uh, their most favorite vignettes and uh, Christmas items that they've seen over the last nine years. And uh, I must give you a preview. Crystal Tree is back. That is my favorite when you called and said that. So the tours all start, you know, in the same order. And this is called the carriage entrance? This is the carriage entrance. Yes, it is. And what era is this? What year well, would you the, date some of these items? Well, the home was built in 05, and it's the the backdrop of this Christmas exhibit. And the items in this room uh, date to about 1900. This uh, C6 electrical Santa mask, uh, uh, it, it's incredible. It's very, very rare. This is the ingle nook here of the house. And then this is the reception, the reception ingle nook area. That's the front door there. Mrs. Arms would have greeted her guests. There's a actually a bench seating area under okay, here. Okay, so this is where guests would yes, have stayed. Yes, so. and waited for Mrs. Arms to come down the steps. To come and welcome mm -hmm. them into her home. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I just love the formality of those <laughs> days. You know, like the, the calling cards and yes, things like yeah, that. Yeah. Now, what are we looking at? Is this German? This is all German. It dates to about 1900 to about 1930, the whole room that we're in. And this is very typical of what you would see in a home. I have pictures that document that they would do these elaborate scenes. So this isn't exaggerated. And these are these are cotton houses here from Germany. Um, every little piece in them, they're little market houses. There's a market house on top of the shelf, a Chris Krendel market, where you know in Germany they have all these little Chris Krendel markets set up, where you buy ornaments and food and candies and cookies and things like that. So these are just recreated um, from. Uh, an artist in in Germany and one of my favorite exhibits has returned in honor of the 10th anniversary it is the crystal tree that you're going to find in the library and this is Doug Cornwell's baby you own the crystal tree yes I do if it's not here is it in your home sometimes oh my gosh I mean how did you collect all these crystals? Over the last 25 years or so, I've just been buying antique broken chandeliers and I would started with a small tree and then it just got bigger and bigger. And then one year I found this tree and I thought I'm going to give it a shot and it, a lot more <laughs> than I thought I had. <laughs> I mean, what is the weight? It's uh, got to be this. over 400 pounds. I tried it in a tree turner that took a 300 pound tree and it wouldn't turn. So it's got to be. So how did you find, of course, this is an artificial tree underneath. Yes, yes. How did you find a tree that would be sturdy enough to hold all this? I just happened across it and it's got the branches are real heavy and it's been able, it's been working well, thank goodness. Oh, I mean, this is, it's stunning. Thank I you. love it. I mean, is there anything else like this in the country? There can't be. I've never seen anything like it. The theme of this room is um, really a, a bit local um, in that we have the twinkler ornament that was invented in Youngstown by John Garver, Bourbon High School teacher, and also made by uh, Plakey Toy. Yes, my aunt used to work at oh, Plakey. Great, yeah. And so, I love that. And they, they're, they're, they rotate because of heat. They rotate from the heat of the bulb. There's a little fan inside that sits on a, a needle 
and then it spins. Now some of them don't because they made some defective ones. That was kind of the demise of the twinkler <laughs> ornament. Again, what year uh, would this be from? This is uh, actually about 1965. Uh, this was uh, in a local candy candy store that I recently acquired. Uh, they closed the store and um, got a call to come and see if I was interested in it. But these are, you know, if you remember downtown, yeah. Strauss is walking up, waiting for Santa. Yeah. You'd walk through these great winter wonderland and you would see all these animated pieces. Um, and this, this is great to have here. We're in the sitting room of Mrs. Arm's home. And this year, again, one of the most requested uh, was to see the room with hundreds of shiny bright ornaments. And the shiny bright ornaments were uh, ornaments that you bought at Woolworths and the five and dime stores. And they, they're all shiny bright. Well, on this tree, yes, most of them are shiny brights. We have a hundred feet of garland that uh, drape the windows. Uh, there's probably over a thousand bulbs on the tree and the garlands. Below Mrs. Arm's uh, fireplace mantle here, we showcase a variety of vintage toys uh, from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, yes, and 70s. Yes. I hate got... to say I have half of these. <laughs> I was in possession of a lot of these Barbie toys. Barbie and Ken, the Partridge family, yeah. and again, another, uh, we did, the dining room here uh, is, uh, reflects the peacock motif. I know, the... what is it with the peacocks? Every year, you always well, a homage it, it's to the, the peacock. It's the motif of the arts and crafts movement, and which means prosperity and so forth. And if you look around the room, the stained glass windows have the peacock tail feathers, oh. and um, the ironwork underneath some of the greenery and on some of the the door pulls and so forth and latches uh, reflect um, the peacock design. This is the butler's pantry. This is the butler's pantry, correct. And the snowman theme always seems to win here because right. you build the snowman. And of course, that is a pretty big symbol of the holiday. So here we are in the streets of downtown Youngstown. We are. This is the <laughs> second floor hallway. And we've created, uh, recreated from uh, the museum uh, archive collection old photographs of downtown during Christmas time from 1900 to about 1950. And you can just kind of stroll down West Federal Street, pick out a lot of the buildings that yeah. are no longer there. Well, next to the crystal tree, my favorite room is the gift shop. And every year I get something really cool. Now you have a lot of vintage stuff for sale and newer things. We have vintage and new. So uh, again, vintage ceramics. Uh, we have the shiny bright bulbs for sale. Uh, if we can keep in stock the Plaky Twinkler. Is that hard to keep? It's up hard with? to keep in stock, yes. But and your prices are pretty fair. They're very reasonable, very And are reasonable. these curated through you, with the, some of the vintage yes, finds? Yes, yes. It's, it's a great way a, a, and to spend the holiday with friends, family, and anybody not familiar or familiar with our region because I mean it really is a flood of memories when you walk it is, through here. It is, it is. We'll be right back with more local flavor. Here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery with owner Phil Rita and Chef Tank. Been on field trips. I know from where you get your food, and always, I'm never disappointed by your menu. What do we have coming up? Okay, that's our Magic Monster Burger. It has two eight ounce patties and some Walnut Hill Farms pork belly on it with a little bit of pecan jam. We have our new pepperoni pretzel roll with house-made marinara. We have our award-winning bacon jam burger with premium pastured meats meat on it and we also have our pot roast and of course our house pretzels. It all sounds so amazing. Casey, I am so proud of our kitchen team for the pride they take in making everything from scratch and supporting local farmers. It's what makes Magic Tree live up to who we are and that's a place where people can eat, drink and celebrate. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> We do 
catering seven days a week. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, anything you want. So if you want us to do one thing or everything for your holiday party, we can do it. We can do it with Gourmet to Go. We can do it with our off-premise catering. We can do anything that you want. We have lots of great restaurants in our community, but I would like to be the one that impresses your family and friends this year during the holidays. I want everybody coming through that door to leave here with a good experience. I love taking care of customers, especially during the holidays. When there was the turducken craze, we were there. We went from 13 orders to over 500 turduckens in one day online. We really worked with FedEx to be able to coordinate pickup and to make sure everybody's gonna get their product. The number one benefit that we use from the American Express Plum Card is its relationship with FedEx. So now our brand is no longer local, it's national. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. At the Vein Center in MedSpa, we realize the serious health issue varicose veins can cause. We know it's more than just cosmetic. We provide you with caring and personal service in a clean and friendly atmosphere. All vein procedures are done in our office during convenient and flexible hours by a medical doctor with over 20 years experience. The Vein Center in MedSpa also offers fillers and neurotoxin procedures, hydrofacials, and laser hair removal services. Call the Vein Center in MedSpa for a free consultation. See why our patients leave satisfied. Now accepting Anthem and Highmark. Part of growing up in Youngstown is growing up with Rolly Brothers Markets. Even friends who have moved out of town come to shop and say hi when they're home for a visit. And my family has always shopped at Rolly's, and today they are still my favorite grocery store. My recipes depend on the best ingredients, and that's why I get them at Rolly's, where you'll always find the freshest food at the best prices. Rolly Brothers is a proud sponsor of the KC Malone Show. The quality that customers have come to expect is true local flavor. Mayflower Wallum is your full-service independent insurance agency for what matters most. Home, auto, life, boat, RV, umbrella. We'll find the right product at the right price for your family. Mayflower Wallum with three locations to serve you. You know, I'm a little tired of Santa Claus getting ah, all the recognition. Yeah. You know, this is the year of the woman and Mrs. Claus is here at Newton Falls, the big holiday expo. And what's the official title out here? <laughs> Tigers 444 the holidays. 4444 the holidays. Five fours, because it's all fours in the zip code here. And boy, this, I think all of Newton Falls has come out for this. I think so, and we have many, many children who've come for breakfast with me today. And story time. Now you and uh, Mr. Claus, you probably don't spend much time together before the holidays. No, not too much time because he's making many visits and you know there's many Santa helpers and cousins out there that, that are doing, assisting him. And so you never know if the real Santa is there or the real Mrs. Claus is there or if it's one of our cousins that is helping out. Now you're the real Mrs. Claus though. I will never tell. I, 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 I'm going to have to get a <laughs> DNA test on you. <laughs> So when do you start your activities? Before Thanksgiving? Well, after? Would, you, would you believe this summer I attended a farmer's market and we talked about with the children about eating healthy and eating local foods. And then I enjoyed a buddy walk in September. I think it was uh, Putting Downs First. Oh, yeah, was, the buddy walk, And yes. I was able to attend with Mother Goose. Oh, we had a wonderful time spending time together. And she had green Mother Goose stories. Now, what is your requirement as Mrs. Claus? You know, we know Santa has to deliver the gifts and ride the sleigh on the big night. Mm -hmm. And what do you do while he's doing oh. that? Well, Mrs. Claus, up till Christmas, I am helping keep things in order, keeping the elves on track, baking cookies, reminding Santa of all the things he has to do. Well, of course, you yes. have to keep up with that. So, and then Mrs. Claus just enjoys also going out and visiting with children, spending time with families. Um, tonight, I'm going to the Down Syndrome Association of the Valleys party with Santa. Oh, well, now that'll be a lot oh, of fun. Oh, that is so much fun. I enjoy this. Is, I enjoy going and seeing them every year. It's a and special that's time. that's really nice. And, you know, we were talking, you know, you were saying about nutrition and that. It looks like the big guy has uh, lost a few pounds. We are working on it. We are yeah. working. Now, some of the cousins are a little bit rounder. Mm -hmm. But we are working. It's important for Santa to be healthy. Chairs of this event are also teachers in the Newton Falls system and it's Marianne and Sean Donley.
And this has been a tradition, right, in the Newton Falls area for how long? This is the second year that we did this whole day event. The year before, we actually did a trip to the North Pole and we turned the entire building into the North Pole. They came in, got train tickets, went, we built a train and everything took them to the North Pole, all that kind of stuff. And then we decided to do this as well. I mean, and all the funds stay in your school system. They Anybody stay right here. Ready? They stay right here in the community. And what made you decide to get involved with this? Because this has got to be a lot of work. <laughs> no, uh, most of the funds that that are raised today go to help families within the community. That need business. a little help for Christmas. Yeah. And I mean, I really think that's the important part. I mean, you're teaching the kids, and so you're pr well well aware right. of the needs of this community. Absolutely. Are you both crazy about Christmas? I love Christmas. You do? Yes. Oh, is your house all decorated and well, ready to go? not as decorated as usual because, you know, we've been working on this. Of but course. we do do, you know, the trees in every room and all that kind of stuff. He hasn't got the lights outside yet, but yet. he's going to work on it. Hopefully. It's going to be nice. Yes. Yeah. Weather looks good. That's right. Oh my gosh, how many vendors are here? We have 73 craft vendors That's and amazing. then we have 17 school groups. Yeah, we have over 130 some items tonight for the auction. And then that's why you're going to cap it off with the big quarter, big quarter auction. auction. Yes, busy Those day things today. are crazy. Yes, Our they make a lot of money. Really, uh, come through with donations. Our vendors have donated all these items that's in this auction. It's going to be a great auction. Right. So whether you're from Newton Falls or not, this is a great way to introduce oh, absolutely. yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Come and get something tonight for a quarter. Right. Get a great <laughs> prize for a quarter. Come and this see is all an the annual all event. Day. Yes. In the 44444. That's right, our zip code, all fours. Santa's Workshop needs your help. Games, toys, winter gloves, and hats can be dropped off at 10 West Broad Street in Newton Falls through December 22nd. From our family to yours, happy holidays and blessings for the new year from The Casey Malone Show. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. I love taking care of customers, especially during the holidays. When there was the turducken craze, we were there. We went from 13 orders to over 500 turduckens in one day online. We really worked with FedEx to be able to coordinate pickup and to make sure everybody's gonna get their product. The number one benefit that we use from the American Express Plum Card is its relationship with FedEx. So now our brand is no longer local, it's national. My mom was always in my corner. Always pushing me to do better. I couldn't have asked for a better mother. So when she needed assisted living... I did my research. Doctors, nurses... And others with family and assisted living... They all said... Trust the name you know. Briarfield. For assisted living with top health care experts, a caring staff, and a comfortable home-like setting. Trust the name you know. Briarfield. Trust the name you know. Briarfield. Proudly serving the Valley for over 20 years. Mayflower Wollum is your full-service independent insurance agency for your business. We work with several companies so you have choices for your insurance needs. Commercial properties, professional liability, bonding, and general. Trust Mayflower Wollum. Traffic. Lines. And that long, cold walk to where you park. This holiday season, there's only one place you need to shop to buy the perfect gift. Welcome to Kamara Jewelers. Kamara Jewelers in Canfield, where you'll find friendly faces, great service, and the hottest brands to warm up even the coldest winter morning. From our family to yours, Merry Christmas! The 
perfect gift. Stonebridge Grill and Tavern, the best food in the valley. For every $50 you spend on gift cards, you get a free $10 bonus card. Stonebridge Grill and Tavern, Route 224 in Boardman, and their new location on Route 46 in Howland. Professional production, local pricing. Contact Shot and Filmworks. Chuck's Greenhouse grows thousands of poinsettias each year. Red, white, jingle bell, pink, a huge variety of colors and sizes. Chuck is the expert on this traditional Christmas plant. Well, as you can see, it is Christmas Central. We're out here on uh, Route 45 in North Jackson at Chuck's Greenhouse, and this is Chuck, the owner, the uh, horticulturalist, yeah. and uh, you have a half an acre here yes. of poinsettias. Just about. Now, is it poinsettia or poinsettia? Depends on how sophisticated you want to sound. So, poinsettia would be the sophisticated, yes. and poinsettia is just what we the call street it. lingo. Yeah. And that's what you call yes. it? So I'm going to go with you on okay. that. When do you begin this process? We start planting in July. Um, like the 10-inch pots, which would be this size here, we plant the first week of July. So they're actually planted before you even celebrate 4th of July. What attracted you to um, the poinsettia? I just think it's a very pretty plant. And I was bored at Christmas time because I, I was always shutting down at um, Halloween and nothing to do from then on. So we started growing poinsettias. And you grow them from, you were telling me, not really from seed. Yes, they're grown from a cutting. So that they'll take a top, like the branches, they'll take the top cut off of that and then root that, and then that's what we plant. So where are the uh, poinsettias? Where, where are they native? Where are they originally to from? To Mexico. There was a U.S. ambassador to Mexico who went, was down there on um, official business, I guess, and he thought it was an in interesting plant and brought them back and that's where the tradition became. And is this? That is the red glitter. Oh, they are beautiful. They will, these will still continue to color up. They're, it's a later variety, so that's why there's not a whole lot of color showing yet. Is there a difference in uh, quality of, uh, of the poinsettia plants? Um, most of the varieties are all good varieties. Most of it, how well they live for you, is, has to do with just how well you take care of them. Um, which is where an independent grower like myself can excel at mm -hmm. because we keep them watered. We're here taking care of them every day. Some of the other stores that are rather large get them shipped in and they sit on a cart in a sleeve and if you buy them, you get, whenever they were watered, they were watered at the greenhouse before they were shipped. So it could be dehydrated. So if they're, and yeah. once the poinsettia dries out, that's what kills them more than anything. Most of the poinsettias that I see people that when, they, when they're dead, that's what happened, they dried out. Few then, people overwater, but the vast majority of people just don't water enough. So you just want the soil to be moist, moist. to the touch? Yes. Even in the spring, we tell people with your hanging baskets, don't try to feel it, you're gonna bust the plant up. Just pick up on the basket. When it's heavy, it's yeah. watered. And when it's, it's light, light, it needs water. Jen Lahotsky is Chuck's wife, and she too is an authority on the point setup. Now what am I looking for when I'm buying a poinsettia to take home and enjoy through Christmas? Well, what you really want to look for is you want to look for something that's colored up very nicely. You want something that's about at this stage right here because this isn't quite colored up enough, okay? The poinsettia starts off green and mm -hmm. then in the fall when the daylight hours start to shorten, they start turning red. The other thing you want to look for, and most people don't know this, is that the flower is not the red. That's not the flower. Mm -hmm. The flower is the little yellow part in the center. So it's will called these, Cyathea. Will these, will these bud and bloom? Yes, more like this one over here. You can kind of see. So this is about as open as they get, is this yellow? They will get a little bit more open and you will see more yellow as it progresses. Okay, so there's no such thing as blue Poinsettias. No, not and today. And I see all these crazy colors, so how do you do that? That is also a special product that we have. It is a dye that's made for the poinsettias, also not harmful. Next step is we add the glue and the glitter. And this glue is also non-toxic and it won't 
it's no. leave it porous so yes. it can breathe. Yes, right. Okay. It's not Elmer's. All right. <laughs> Once I get my poinsettia, get it home immediately, what's the best way to transport it? Yes, absolutely. Get it home immediately. Do not spend any more time outside than you have to. Um, we sleeve it in either plastic or we have paper sleeves. Plastic sleeves we use on the warmer days uh, when it's not too chilly outside. It's a little less expensive for us um, and you don't need the protection like you do on a really, really cold day. Um, when it is cold outside, we do use the paper sleeves. It gives a little more insulation value to protect the plant. So now you've met the growers, one of the few in our area, and you learned all those great tips. So now you've got to come out to Chuck's and get your poinsettias for the holidays. What are your hours of operation? Um, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m and then Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., and we are always closed on Sundays. All right, always closed on Sundays. Always. Special orders are taken if you want sure. special crazy colors. Absolutely, give us a call. And uh, if you want, you know, to buy for your church or office or whatever, oh, just absolutely. give them a call. Oh, absolutely, we service over 50 churches, so. Well, yeah. I cannot thank you two enough for your hospitality. Oh, thank you for coming this out. This was so Fantastic. much fun. Great. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Come out to text. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.